Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Candace Sipos with JSA, and I'm here with Duke Ascon, Sales Director with AtNorth, one of the uh, great um, Nordic uh, data center leaders. So we're really excited to chat with him today. Duke, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure. So first of all, we know that you're about to uh, give a case study presentation in a couple hours here at the event. Um, so we, we were hoping you could give us a bit of a, a preview. It's about kind of the intersection between su sustainability and profitability. So if you could just chat through that a little bit with us. Well, yeah, we're going to hold a little case study here. Um, what we're really looking at is long-term profitability and cost efficiency together. Uh, Short-term, your cost could be a little bit higher, but your long-term cost will be much lower. That's, that's the goal of it. And when we're talking about the costs, we're also talking about holistic costs. Not only the cost of running an efficient data center, but the cost of customer acquisition. Because hmm. we're seeing that the consumer demand is for long-term solutions. Yeah. And you can't cut our future generation's costs. Yeah. It's yeah. an investment, what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Um, so so one line that really kind of stands out from that case study with BMP um, is that it proves that green means cost efficient, which is what you're chatting about. So um, and at North is really able to achieve both, which is impressive. So um, could you tell us any more about that? Well, what we're seeing is that if we can work on the circular economics mm -hmm. and ensure that we have a respectful use of uh, our natural resources, human mm -hmm. resources, and think about the future, not only our short-term gains, mm -hmm. we've got a much better op proposition to the market. Excellent. And I appreciate it. And mm -hmm. when we can quantify it, mm -hmm. the customers can buy it. Yeah. Okay, love that. And um, in other recent news out of At North, um, the company recently acquired uh, Gompu, which is a very exciting. Um, this had just happened at the end of August. Uh, so we were hoping that um, you could just give us uh, a little bit of an update on that. I know several new hires came as part of that. Um, and, and tell us what our audience can expect from At North over the next year or so. Well, At North, we're in a tremendous growth phase. Uh, acquiring Gompu gives us more human resources in the HPC as a service. Uh, mm -hmm. part. They add uh, value to our stack mm -hmm. higher up above the, above the bare bones infrastructure. So we're really glad to have them on board and mm -hmm. we see uh, some great value coming there. With the new hires, while well, we've added some more talent to our uh, human resource pool, as any company, it's about the people. So you have the right people, people that want to drive things, mm -hmm. they can make things happen. That's yeah. where the magic is. And the overall, the company, well, I think, keep an eye on us. We're going to be a power player in the Nordics. It's going to take us two, three years, but we've put all the puzzle pieces in place. So stay tuned for using our services. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, more human resources is always a good thing, right? Yeah. Uh, excellent. So great chatting with you. We'll see you around the conference and good luck on your case study presentation here in a few hours. And uh, to our audience, uh, as always, happy networking. Thank you, Candice. Thank you.